Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the video. One more time, if you haven't checked out the Facebook group, Don't Tell My Wife, great group of collectors, please check us out. Now, starting off with the Kyoto shop uh, over in Akihabara, they have some of the some of the figures that will be coming out soon, as well as some of the prototypes, as you can see, some um, Attack on Titan figures, which are pretty cool. Um, some unpainted prototypes here you'll see here's the female titan very cool looking very nice and then they have the Ahmed titan hopefully these get released hopefully these get solicited they're very cool they're very nice um and it's good that you know kyoto and companies like such are, are giving the the IP some attention. So here's the Agent Venom getting re-released. Here's the Arkham Knight Batman, which is due pretty soon, as well as the Deathstroke. Um, that'll be coming out in May. So getting started here on the Tamashii Nation store, they have a Propolica uh, 10th anniversary event. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, if you kindly could, I'd appreciate it. Like the video if you enjoy the content. So the Propica stuff is a lot of, um, you know, just kind of accessory pieces that have lights and sounds that Tamashii Nations puts out, Bandai puts out, that are very cool. So that it's very uh, Sailor Moon heavy here at the beginning. Um, the line is, is really, I, I'm not going to say overly represented, or not the line, but the IP is overly represented with this particular line properly got but um, there's some cool stuff now one of the other things that they do they do a lot of swords whether it's katana or, or other types of swords um, most with sounds some have lights they're pretty cool now you can see that psychopath gun one thing about guns um, toy guns in Japan is you don't have that law that for example, the United States has that Hasbro has to adhere to with the um, with the orange tip for the um, for the barrel for the for the nozzle there. So, if you get any Transformers um, from Takara Tomy, uh, Megatron, you're able to get that gun mode, and um, there's no there's no off coloring on it. So, that's one cool thing about being in Japan. So. Moving along, um, you have a lot of different things on display. You can see that it does tell you what each particular item does. Is it is it voice activated? Does it give you voice? Does it give you sounds? Um, are there lights involved? So it's pretty cool. And uh, one of the things that's really cool is you know for these different IP, you know, there's a whole range of different props that would be really nice to have in you know one-to-one -one life size and they do it you know especially you know a lot of poise a lot of people are into um kimetsu no yaiba the demon slayer uh, show and series and they put out all of the pieces you can see them there in the distance and we'll get to them in a minute but having them you know displaying them if you're into that sort of thing i guess the equivalency would be maybe star wars with you know, black series helmets or, or the lightsabers or the props and things like that. So, you know, having the things and, and they have some really cool display um, stands. So you see they don't recycle the stands in the same way. A lot of the, dis, um, the, the stand pieces are unique to each particular one. Look at this one with the hands, which is really cool. I mean, you know, that's... I think that's pretty nice. I think it's it's pretty cool. Now that particular Doraemon one, that one just released, and and I'm actually considering getting it for my youngest son. He's a big um, he's a big Doraemon fan. I do have that Pac-Man down there on the right, um, but he is a a Doraemon fan. So maybe maybe Santa will bring it this year. Who knows? We'll see. So just, you know, when you go in, they have some adverts, some commercials and stuff, and you can see it there. But, you know, here's the here's the display of the Kimetsu no Yaiba. I'm a bit tongue-tied this morning. Apologies. 
Um, I mean, really cool. If you have the room to display it, they're really nice. And one of the great things about living here is Amazon will often put these things down on discount. You might get 30% off the ones that go on sale to the general public. Um, some of these are Tamashii Nation's web exclusive. So you can only buy them through Tamashii Nation's. And there's only a small window to buy them. So they'll never go on sale on discount. No, I had the um, I had one of the swords as a display piece, and I gave it to my kids to play with, and you know they proceeded to to break it. They snapped it right off, <laughs> right where the hilt goes. It's actually like this one right here, sort of. Um, but you know, sailor V, you know it happens. So, so here's some more of the Sailor Moon stuff. They're celebrating uh, the 30th anniversary of the line. So they've been pushing it a bit this year. It's not as bad. Uh, it's not as big as it used to be, but you know, it still has a a sizable following. Those little girls who watched it are now women with some disposable income. So here's that Draymond piece. You know, it goes on your head. It's a propeller, and it helps you fly away. So some of the figures that they have available in the store. You can buy them right there. Some more pieces. These are the effects pieces that are proving to be quite popular. People are um, people are buying them up, and it seems that they're selling out. So they're nice accessory pieces. Um, whether it's Figuarts or even Mafex or Hasbro figures, they go really well in the scale. So you know, maybe pick one up and. Take a look at it and see what you think. Now the store was a little bit busy, and this this guy here in the yellow he kept <laughs> sort of getting in the way everywhere I went in this uh, in this area of the store. So you know, he seemed to kind of telegraph where I was going to be, and he he tried to be there before I was. So I got these two. These two are cool. I don't have any of these. Um, again, you can't get every line. You can't get every every figure. Now, when I was in America, uh, they're having an event in November, and you had to enter a lottery to be able to get some of these figures. And I want that Godzilla in particular. And... Uh, they blocked me out because I was in the States. I tried to use a VPN... And it blocked me. I couldn't. I couldn't even sign up. I'm a Tamashi Nations member, and I couldn't sign up just to enter the lottery, which is, which stinks, you know, because I really wanted that Godzilla, and there was no way that I could do it while I was in the states. So, not happy about that because I really do want that particular Godzilla. So here's some more pieces, some of the exclusives that they'll have in the store. I don't know about that Luke Skywalker. That's already available. Now Jump Series, for those of you who don't know, Shonen Jump is a Shonen Jump is a um, it's basically a comic book. It's a big, thick book that comes out all the time, and they have different stories in it, and um, that's where a lot of these popular IP originated so just a lot of really cool stuff in the store they have a good mix of you know retail stuff and um, you know web exclusive stuff that they just show you can't buy it there and then they have store exclusives as well and the stuff uh, the area where you buy the stuff is now looking here to the right that's where most of the stuff is is usually sold Here's that Mecha Godzilla that is coming out soon. Looking forward to that. And then you can see the store exclusive rooftop Miles and Gwen. So again, I appreciate you watching the video. Thanks again. If you haven't liked the video, you're still watching, please like. If you're not a subscriber, please think about doing so. Uh, take care and hope to see you all next time.